Working in your purpose is probably something you've heard about, read about, or maybe even dreamt about. But as a former athlete, would you believe that simply participating in sports in your athletic journey is probably what's been holding you back from finding your passion and your purpose in life after sports? Hey there, it's Cletus Coffey, the founder of Recovering Athlete Coaching and Training. And I tell you what, being a former athlete can be very challenging, primarily because not many people understand our path and our journey and what we're going through. And I tell you, that transition from being an athlete, living your purpose, being truly fulfilled into life after sports where you're struggling and trying to figure things out is very challenging. And I tell you, I know this because I went through it. See, in my transition, I didn't quite understand who I was at that point. I struggled mightily because I was associating with being an athlete. So in life after sports, I stumbled and failed and stumbled some more and struggled and went broke and got divorced and, you know, so much going on in my life. And I didn't quite understand what was really going on for me, let alone what was my true purpose? What was I here to do? Because simply, I was just trying to find a way to survive. Now understand this. As an athlete, you and I didn't have to question or understand or uh, truly think through what our purpose was because we were living it. We, we were thrust into our, our passion just over time, whether it be you started as a multi-sport athlete and then gradually gravitated towards one particular sport and you went all in on that and maybe it took you through high school through college, maybe professional or to the Olympic level, whatever level you played at, it really doesn't matter. You were living your true passion and purpose. And because of that, you got results from it. Whether that be wins and losses or just truly fulfillment and being out there and competing and playing and racing and whatever it may be, that fulfilled you. That was an outer purpose that coincidentally match with your inner purpose. And it just naturally happened. You didn't think about it. Now, in life after sports, you, maybe like me, are fumbling around going, look, I'm getting some outer results, meaning I'm getting, sure, I've got enough money to to pay the bills. Uh, I've got a family, I've got a house over my head, Uh, I've got a dog. Uh, Whatever level of life you're at at this stage, it really doesn't matter. But you may be there sitting going, guys, I, I just would love to do, wake up every morning is truly passionate about what I'm doing, feeling truly fulfilled, living my purpose. Now, I didn't understand this for so long until I went in and studied, I learned it, and I began to understand it for myself. But really, we're going to break it down into two basic components. You with me here? The first is your inner purpose. Now, why is this important? Because this is the foundation. You getting clarity on what your inner purpose is isn't something that you can just sit down and map out like a series of goals. That's not what we're talking about. Inner purpose is, in this day and age, the term is being woke, being awakened, being present. That is inner purpose, is that presence. And recognizing, and we could break it down into various different levels from there, such as self-awareness, getting clarity on who you are. If not this athlete anymore, who are you? And my friends, I deal with and work with athletes on many levels. I I dealt with it in my own decade plus removed from being an athlete, still struggling with, wait a second, how do I get get back there? How do I get that same feeling and that same... uh, high that I once had as an athlete today in life after sports. And I just didn't know how to make the connection or the alignment. That's a key term we'll get to in a second. It's first reflecting on who am I? This is not what you do. That is your outer purpose. That's the secondary element here. But this tends to be the primary for most people is they go directly to the outer. They want the results. They want to, the money, the car, the, the fame, 
or the house or the vacations so they can post nice pictures on social media like whatever but that's the outer purpose now not saying especially in this society in this day and age that that is important because i know it is and it's it's for a lot of us it's something that we either have and are not feeling fulfilled in or are wanting to have and we're not feeling fulfilled in our process to get there the reason why is because most of us didn't do the foundational work right starting from an inner perspective the, the understanding the inner purpose who are you that's what we need to understand and become aware of again it's not something we write down and and we map out believe me i tried in my in my journey to this point i i wanted to be funny it's after i was done playing i just put my athletic career in a drawer and shoved it and closed it i didn't want anything to do with it i was in business now i wanted to be a business person and i didn't want people asking me about my sports career i wanted to talk business and, and that just was my mindset and i shut down all the things that made me who i was through sport through being an athlete and it wasn't until i went back in and pulled it out of the drawer brought it into the present moment and was just that present with it what did i do well as an athlete who was i there and how can i align that with what i want to create in my life and find something that was meaningful and purposeful because you know i had the jobs and I was making money and I had a nice car and I ended up having a house and starting a family. I was doing all those things, but I had this fire burning in my belly. You probably have a fire like that. And I just didn't know where to place it like I did in sports. It just naturally happened. I, I found a sport that I loved. I went out there and participated in and continued to get the outer results from it. And here we go. I mean, imagine... Imagine as an athlete, say you were a soccer player and in your process of growing and developing and, and reaching your highest potential in that sport, you stopped it and decided to go play baseball. And whether you played baseball before or not, really doesn't matter. You go and play baseball and then maybe you start to see results. You start playing well, you get uh, all-star or all-American or signed as a professional athlete, what have you. I mean, think about it. Just It doesn't take long to do a Google search on professional athletes who retire at an early age or get caught up in substance abuse or other means that, that harm them or their families because they're just they're caught up in this thing and they don't really want to be there. That's not really them. It, it, they're, they're the soccer players who went to play baseball. And it's just not working. The connection is not there. But as a soccer player, say, playing soccer, you thrived. You probably reached your highest potential. You were fulfilled in that regard. Now, here we are in life after sports. Same exact thing. You want to go be someone who has the fancy car, has the nice job. You want to get into technology and, or you want to get into coaching. That's the cliche thing for a lot of us former athletes. I'll just go into coaching, Cletus. I just, thankfully at the time, I recognize that coaching, although I love coaching, love it. It just wasn't in alignment with where I wanted to go with myself. And so I didn't go down that path. Now, could I have gone out and gone there and been successful and enjoyed it? Yeah, probably. But would I have been fulfilled? Probably not. Because now that I've been present and I've been awakened through really self-awareness and who I really am, I've gained an inner understanding of my purpose. And that's not it. Now, it's coaching, just not in that regard. So, we tend to focus on the outer elements, expecting the inner to be solved. Doesn't work that way. We got to go inward before we go outward, and we have to do something that a lot of us have not been able to figure out, and that's the alignment. How to align the two. That, my friend, is true, true purpose. Aligning those two. Now, the challenge with that is when we're focusing on the outer, you know, Buckminster Fuller, if you ever read any of, of Bucky's work, he talks about the, the honeybee, right? The honeybee goes out to, to you know, look for the, like the honey, right? The nectar and bring it back to, uh, to the hive right? and, and, and the nectar to, to develop honey. It's not that, the, but what happens is, and the byproduct of that is 
the, the honeybee pollinates the garden. The flowers and the trees that develop the fruits and the vegetables that we eat that supports humanity, right? We're here because of the honeybees. But it's not like the honeybee leaves the hive and says, all right, I'm going to go help humanity thrive. I'm going to go support this world and pollinate in the garden. No, it doesn't say that. It just goes and does what, what they're innerly co connected to do, and that's go get the nectar. The byproduct is the outer effect, the outer purpose is fulfilled. So you may be in that spot, and it's challenging. You may be seeing results through your outer purpose, and I get that. But deep inside of you, there's probably something that's a bit off, that fire is burning, that unfulfillment is real. And it's difficult, especially if you've got a family and you have responsibilities, to find the time to take a step back and understand what is my inner, especially if the inner isn't down the path that you're going. That's scary. That's uncomfortable. But I, I hope you understand that nobody that has done anything of any significance has done something in their comfort zone. So I encourage you to get out of your comfort zone. My friends, if I can help support you in that getting out of that comfort zone, finding your inner purpose, aligning with your outer purpose, by all means, subscribe to this video so you can get more content from me. Or by all means, go to cletuscoffee.com forward slash playbook. That's an entry into our community. These former athletes, just like you, who want to make a greater impact in life than we ever did in sports.